Birmingham, Alabama, on a day with a temperature in the low 60s. It is a gray, overcast kind of a day. Legion Field, however, is one of the most colorful places in the country, always when Auburn and Alabama get together. And the Crimson Tide will kick off. Terry Sanders, the sophomore from Birmingham, will hit the ball. Lionel James, the junior for Auburn, waits for it deep in the end zone. There will be no return. And it's third down and two from the 28-yard line as Campbell goes down the line on the option, goes outside with it. Look what I found. Pitch to Bo Jackson, tries to get around the corner, slides across the 30. And that football almost got loose to Stan Gay. The right side cornerback brings him down. Ben Ross to the top of the picture. Joey Jones to the wide side of the field. And Lewis is back to throw it, getting some heat. Sets up the screen. The pass is knocked off to the fullback Moore. Moore gets an Alabama first down as he crosses midfield and goes to about the Auburn 44. Third down. They need three. Lewis going to put it in the air. He goes to the sidelines for Jones, and Jones is out of bounds. Pass is incomplete. Going on to a fine career in professional football. Second down and eight for Auburn. They take it inside. Here's Campbell's first pass of the day. Got a man. It's good. The pass is caught up at the 39-yard line by Chris Woods, a junior from Birmingham. And Lionel James, a little guy, but boy, he's dynamite, and he runs very well in traffic. Alabama sets up a six-man front. They give the ball to James, and uh, they run into a bus. And he stops right about the line of scrimmage. Smothered has not run a play up the middle so far in this ball game. That has been successful. That has been successful. That's correct. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. I think this is the game. Get Greg Pratt, sophomore, 220-pounder out of Albany, Georgia, comes in and sticks his head in the pile, and it's close, Frank. Well, Tommy Wilcox has now come on the field. Tommy has been hurt. Didn't make it. Joe Carter is now in the backfield, number 46, as they break the bone. And they've got Jones wide out. And Lewis gives it to Joey Jones on the reverse. Auburn played it very well. They force him wide, but Jones has great speed. And Joey's quick feet gets him around the corner as he jukes an Auburn defender and gets a first down for Alabama down around the 33. Second down at about seven. As Lewis gives the ball inside this time, he let the fullback have it and Ricky Moore. The big sophomore from Huntsville punches in there and gets another first down for Alabama. Ben Ross to the left, Jones to the right. Second down and 10, Lewis back. He looks over the middle, he's got a man, Jones, he's out of the end zone. Oh, they get him the touchdown. He flagged the foot. He looked me like he was going to sail right out of the end zone, but he had to drag a foot down. Jones has to make contact with the ground before he goes out of the end zone. Let's see what happens. He got his left got foot his, down. What a play. And up, Popper, no, as intended for Mike Edwards. And it's Carter up in the slot with Lewis on a rollout left. He'll pull it down, or he'll throw it. Oh he to throw it, and he throws it to Joey Jones. And the little man, 5'9", 165, a junior from Mobile, is suddenly a very big figure in this ball game. Lewis outside, goes to Patrick. Patrick, big game. Inside the Auburn 30, down to the Tigers, 28. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. Tide leads, 7-0. Lewis flips it deep. Joe Carter has the ball. Fumble, Auburn's got it. The ball popped up in the air. It's a foot race to the goal line. And Lewis is after him, and Walter Lewis makes the tackle on Tim Drinkard saving the touchdown. They run a little delay to Lionel James. And touchdown. Great blocking by the Auburn offensive front. Third and six. Holy. Keeps it. Got a first down. Ken Coley goes to the Auburn 49. Chuck Clinton brings him down, a junior from Pensacola. Maybe checking off. Long count. Rides it off to his fullback. On the fullback, Ricky Moore is loose for a big game inside the Auburn 30. Down to the Tiger 28 goes Ricky Moore. No 
Throws the ball up the Auburn 22. Third down. I call it four. Long four. Foley on the option. Hands inside. And it's Ricky Moore again. The pullback carrying to the 19. Possibly the 18. Fourth down. Yard to go. They've done pretty well on fourth down conversion prize this year. 80%. didn't do it that time gave the ball to Craig Turner who has become something of a specialist for them in short yardage plays and he just didn't make it number 28 came up out of the secondary Bob Harris the strong safety having Jackson at fullback as Pat Dye said to me yesterday they hope they can pop the big guy through there quickly but Alabama being so fierce in its rush they'll sometimes overrun it Randy Campbell the quarterback trying to Option it around the corner, calling his own number, and he comes up short by a yard and a half as King and Wood make the tackle. They mark them down at their own 19. Walter Lewis back at his quarterback, and he's going to throw it. And he comes over the middle with it to Bendross, and Bendross is out to the 37 for a first down. Second down, four. Here the 43. Lewis back to throw. He's got Patrick to the left. He goes to Bendross. Jesse's open and got it. And first down Alabama at the Auburn 26. Dennis Collier, free safety, having trouble staying with Bendross. Over Lewis having a big first half. Now totaling over 100 yards. Third down and seven. And they hand it inside, and there's nothing there for Patrick. Number 63 was the man that made the first contact with him playing middle guard. James Wallace, six-footer. Peter Kim will try the field goal from 37 yards, and from that distance, he is four out of five in 1982. It's up, plenty of leg on it, and it's good. Eight minutes and 31 seconds to play in the first half. From the 23, third down, five for Auburn. Alabama now totaling 228 yards in the offense, and Auburn... 67 prior to that play, which is good to the 29. First down for Auburn. And blindsided. Campbell is hit by John Elias, the nose guard. 5-12 to play in the first half. And Walter Lewis fumbles the ball. It is picked up by the trailing back. Jeff Fagan. And a loss on the play back to about the 22. It is second down and 15. From the 22, pressure's on. Lewis is, throws a dime trail out there, and it's picked off by Bob Harris. He was getting pressure from the blind side, and his arm must have been hit. Second down and 10. And Campbell wants to throw again. Goes over the middle, has an arm. Edwards. And Mike Edwards falls it down at the Alabama 11. They're going to go out of the wishbone, and Campbell down the line, turns it, keeps it for the goal line, touchdown! <laughs> Auburn with a five-man foot, and Foley's got it, and he's got the first down as he hits it out to the 32. <laughs> Follows the center, Martin, and appears to have the first down. Auburn leading 14 to 10. 25 seconds to go, and Foley back to throw on second and 10. Again, goes that same pattern a moment ago, except this time it's Darrell White in at the split end position, and the senior out of Tuscaloosa makes the grab. 12 seconds to play in the first half. Second down and 12. And Lewis straight back. He's very quick. Oh, he's got Ben Dross in the end zone wide open. He hits right on the sidelines and gets a first down. He didn't see Ben Dross. And when, when Lewis scrambles to the left with his quickness, number 47, King runs all the way across the field. Number 27, I don't know why he did this. Look how wide open he is for a touchdown, but he couldn't get the ball back to him or he didn't see it. The holder is quarterback Paul Field. Snap is good. Hold is good. Kick by Kim is good. So time runs out in the first half as Alabama gets a 33-yard field goal, the second by Tim today, but Auburn leads at halftime by 14 to 13. Coach Paul Bear Bryant, both Keith Jackson and Frank Royals were wondering during the broadcast why you elected to go with Ken Coley at quarterback instead of Walter Lewis. Trying to win the game. 
Everything I do, I'm trying to win the game. No reason for it, just for that. Oh, I'm trying to win the game. Now, what about some? I don't have to apologize for who I play. I'm trying to win the game. And it is Walter Lewis at quarterback, with Ben Dross coming to the bottom of the picture. Lewis, 7 out of 12 for 128 yards and a touchdown. He's run seven times and picked up 19 yards on the ground. And Lewis coming to the open side of the field. Comes it. He had something on the pass. Rolling to his left. He can drill it. And he nails Ben Dross on the numbers for a first down. Lewis straight back on second down and eight. Leaps it out here to Moore again. He, the man in front missed his block. But Moore outruns the pursuit. And goes for another Alabama first down. Second down and five tied. Lewis, he's got Mendross over there at a first down. And Jesse is dragged down by David King, number 27 for Auburn. Gives that ball off to the fullback Moore, and Ricky Moore is inside the 20. Bounce down at the 18. Give Moore seven on the carry, second down, three. There goes the big guy up the middle again. He's inside the 10. He's down to the 8. Christopher Martin brought him down. Lewis outside the roof. Touchdown. Alabama's going for two. Under pressure. See if Auburn decides to get the ball in the air a little more off first or second down. Nope, they give that ball up the middle to Bo Jackson, and Jackson breaks it pretty well. Runs it over the left side behind Reeves and Jordan and Wallace. Big guys were up front. All the same, the start of the game. They're going to stay on the ground. Give it to Lionel James. And he high steps over the left side for a first down out at the 39. Campbell falls down coming off the snap. Got his legs tangled up. Big 96, Randy Edwards. He gets it out of there. And Carruth lets it bounce. And then hangs his head. He should have run that thing down and kicked it out of bounds. Anything because he was up around the 20-25. Ben Gross and Jones with a wideout. Lewis rolls it. Throws for Jones. Joey's got it. Gets in the open. Oh, my goodness. And before he can really get his motor running, Greg Carr catches him from behind. But it's a first down and a big play. Second down and nine, Alabama from their own 40. Lewis straight back. Swings it out to Moore and that fullback screen. And big guy has good balance. Fourth down, and Lewis is back in front formation. Now he comes up. He shifts back into the wishbone as if they're going to go for it. They're going to shift out of it again. They got him. They got him. They got him. I've seen that many, many times. They would not want the first down in that way. Well, that's what they called it against Auburn. Second down and about eight for Alabama on the Auburn side of the field. And Ken Coley is in the quarterback. And he's loose. And Kenny dives past the marker for a first down at the Auburn 35. Coley on the option, going the other way. Look at that. You don't think he isn't quick? He doesn't have a sense of where the pressure is? That's another first down for Alabama. Second down and 12. Ball comes back out to the 22. Coley gives it to the halfback. And Joe Carter takes it down to the 10. Third down and goal. Matter of starch here. If Alabama takes it uh, 94 yards and sticks it in, it'll take starch out of Auburn. If the Auburn defense can get out of here with a field goal, that'll brace them up. And Coley turns it up field at a one. Fourth and goal. 18 yards. Second time he's hit it from there. And the second time he has knocked it through. First down, Auburn at the 20. Out of the eye, go to Jackson. And Bo Jackson runs it to the 30. And he's got a first down. Alabama leading 22-14. It is third down and five Auburn at their own 35. And Randy Campbell. Oh, 
low. No good to Chris Wood. And the turnovers are the only thing that's kept all in the ball game as they've capitalized on a fumble in the air and an interception. Ken Coley directing this one. And gives the ball off to Lenny Patrick. And then bolting out of there across the 20 and out almost to a first down. Alabama sits out of 10 on third down conversion to Coley back to throw. Well, they get in the middle and he takes off. But he didn't get his first down. Didn't get his first down. Greg Carr and Dow Auckland. Bo Jackson looking out of the tailback spot. He breaks it big. Inside the Alabama 15. Out of bounds at the tied 13. Tommy Wilcox and Jeremiah Castile had a little bit of an angle on him. Double wide. Out of the wishbone. Campbell getting pressure from the backside, and they get him down at about the six. Well, Del Greco will try one from 23 yards. Del Greco kicks six, six field goals against the cut of the season. Up there, and it's good. So Del Greco hits from 23. And with 9.06 to play in the ball game, Auburn is still in the hunt. Alabama 22. And Auburn 17. Lewis gives the ball to Carruth. And Carruth has a first down for Alabama out at the 31. Blindside pressure. Lewis gets it off, and it is almost intercepted. Dow Ortman, number 61, the big middle guard, got his hands on it. Five-man defensive front for Alabama. Five-four. Campbell puts it up, and Woods has got it. Third down and seven from the 49. We go to Bo Jackson, and he's close. Where they put him down? Just, just. Over the top. Randy Campbell wants to throw. They run him out of the pocket and then suck him. But the Alabama defense again rises up. Campbell goes to Edwards. To the 31 yard line and the first down. Big Mike Edwards pulled it in. Six man front. Wilcox is up on the line. And over the middle it goes for Chris Wood. It is intercepted by Castile. I think they're going to call Castile for pass interference. I believe it's a good call. What is the pass interference? Watch Wood. First down. Woods has. Territorial rights, Castile, number 19, cannot make contact before the ball gets to the receiver. There it is, right there. Well, the Alabama side is holding its breath. The Auburn side is roaring lustily here at Legion Field on third down and goal. Campbell puts it up. He's got it to Bo Jackson. Jackson is down just short of the goal line. He's a foot away. Fourth and goal and a half a yard. Jackson! Touchdown! Seconds to play in the ball game. Auburn will go for two. 23 22 Auburn. They're going to try to make it 25. Campbell is hit down by Russ Wood. The two point try fails. Lewis is dangerous. He's got enough room for his first down, but he throws the ball and it ricochets out of the hands of Ben Gross up at the 40. Fourth down and six, and Alabama's going with a minute 53 to play. Lewis back. Loops it upfield and is intercepted. He tried to touch the ball, and Bob Harris intercepted at the Alabama 30. 
His second interception of the ball game with a minute and 45 seconds to play. Third down and one. Alabama's got to hold them if they have any hopes. Jackson over the top. Fumbles the football. Alabama's got it. Can you believe it? With a minute and nine seconds to play in the ball game. From the 21 for Alabama, first down in a minute and nine seconds to play, and Walter Lewis on a roll. He's got Ben Gross open. Jesse holds on to it. And it's a first down for Alabama up at the 36. Ben Gross and Tory Jones, the white people. 56 seconds to go in the ball game. Walter Lewis, he gets his pass off. The pass is complete. And it's good for a first down up at the 47. And again, the clock will stop. One point lead for Auburn, 23-22. Lewis back, getting a little pressure this time. Auburn, and he throws the ball. That may be grounding. It was Ben Thomas, number 91, that got him, and it's intentional grounding against Walter Lewis. 20 seconds to play in the game. It is fourth down. They've got to go to the Auburn 43 for a first down. They've got to go deep. He's got it over the middle, and it is incomplete. And with 13 seconds to play in the ball game, Auburn gets the ball. No, not James. Uh, the safety man for Auburn. Bob Harris. Bob Harris. Well, they'll count it down. It's a happy day for the Auburn Tigers and their partisans. They come storming out onto the field. There's five seconds remaining to play in the ball game. They're trying to tear down the goalposts. I don't know if they can ever restore order after this. They're probably just as well now to let things run off and time expire. Three teams have beaten Alabama this year, Tennessee, LSU, and Auburn, that haven't beaten them in over a decade. Well, everything in life is cyclical. The cycle means around, and you can't avoid it. Sooner or later, you're going to have to have a few down times, and he's had few. And they're going to let the clock run off now, and the game is over. Paul Bryant walks off, losing for the first time since 1972 to Auburn. As Pat Dye's youngsters rose up when the occasion offered them, when the opportunity was in front of them, and they stuck it in the end zone. Final score, Auburn 23, Alabama 22.